Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Minecraft, Direwolf 20 Modded Edition. Last episode we left off in this little village down here. Ooh, let's, uh, let's pan down this little village and I was talking about what I needed to do to get some emeralds so that I can make myself a uh, the wand... F let's see if we can pull it up here. It was the wand focus of excavation. I really wanted to make that and I need an emerald for it. On the way back... I decided that I hadn't scanned a Enderman yet, so I was going to scan an Enderman. And it was nighttime, they were out and about. So I got one's attention and started trying to scan him. He hit me a couple times, and eventually I ended up dying. It was rather unfortunate. I got cornered by spiders, and and a creeper explosion injured me, and I died right there. But, you know, I was right next to my house, so I was just like, oh, I'll just wait till day, go and get my corpse, everything will be fine. So I went over to my gravestone and started breaking it up, just, you know, whacking it with my fist, breaking it up. And with this mod pack, all your items are stored in your gravestone. You break the gravestone and you get all your items back. I was, it was just about to break and uh, I had, I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't have my headset on, so I wasn't listening to what was going on around me because I was just messing around. Nothing important was going on. And a creeper snuck up on me and blew up my gravestone. So I lost a ton of stuff. I lost almost everything I had. I lost both of my diamond pickaxes that were really good. The one with fortune. I had one with fortune, efficiency, and unbreaking, and one with efficiency and unbreaking. Lost both of those. Lost my diamond sword. Lost my diamond shovel. Lost everything but uh, my gold banded great wood wand and my thalmanomicon. All the stuff I had gathered in that village, all those potatoes and carrots, lost all that. Pretty much I lost all my armor. Pretty much lost everything. It was awful. I just wanted to rage quit and die. But I continued on. I uh, I went in mine for a while. Uh, I had, uh, I don't remember, I think I must have, maybe I left it over here. I did make another pickaxe. I got fortune unbreaking on it. Fortune is what I was looking for, so that was good. And after that whole, was that an enderman poking through my wall there? I think it was. And after that whole fiasco, losing so much stuff, getting nice and frustrated, I decided I was going to take a, a detour back to industrial craft. Back over here and start messing around with these things. I found a really good source of lava in one of my, one of my tunnels, and I decided what I was going to do is finally get around to building, and we talked about this a long time ago, this guy right here, the CESU. It is a a uh, power storage device that holds 300,000 energy units, and as you can see, I need a lot of bronze. I need these batteries, which is a lot of bronze, and some sulfur dust, and some pulverized lead. Uh, let's make sure that I have some... Okay, I do have some rubber bars, that's good. Uh, I should have enough to make... Oh, I have a bunch of copper cables here that are already insulated, so that's good too. Uh, and interestingly enough, I know I mentioned it before way back in the beginning of this, but I have not found... Any, any, any of the industrial craft, um, what's it called? The industrial craft, uh, uh, what is the word I'm thinking of here? Oh, the rubber trees, the industrial craft rubber trees. Haven't found a single one. Now, let's get some of this stuff out of here. I've been running these for a while now. Let's, uh, get that out of there, because we're going to need to make a bunch of bronze. So let's take half this copper... Macerate it down. Let's take this tin. Macerate it down. Actually, yeah. Maybe as well leave some more. Do I have any more copper anywhere else? Why am I so low on copper? I have a little bit. Interesting. Hmm. I didn't realize I was that low on copper. I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, try to find some caves and do some cave, uh, cave diving, some spelunking, because... Um, that's where I find most of the most of the copper is in cave walls, not when I'm mining. I rarely find it when I'm mining. Okay, so let's start gathering some supplies. I'm going to need some the sulfur dust. Found some of that in my travels. I'm going to need these. Let's just grab a bunch of wires. Grab that stuff right there. Uh, let's see what else did I need. It was bronze. Bronze plates, copper cables, and advanced batteries, which is bronze item casings, and copper cables, sulfur, and lead dust. Okay. Now to get the lead dust, all I'm going to need to do is 
I think I have some some bars that are already some lead bars in here. Silver, tin, iron. No, I don't have any lead bars. So I am going to have to to macerate some of this stuff down. And the macerators are going. Let's see, let's we could just use this furnace while uh, while we're waiting. Maybe uh, might as well grab. I keep I keep uh, forgetting which which chests hold which items. Throw. Oh, I can't put that in there. I want to roll the bronze out. That's what I want to do. Get that stuff going. And while we're waiting for that, what we are going to need as well is the what is it? Transformer. Um. Yes. LV Transformer. That's what we need to build. And this guy isn't going to be too hard. It's going to be a bunch of planks. Easy. Some insulated tin cable and a coil. Coils are easy. So we're going to need some iron. Uh, going to need a bunch of that stuff. Going to need that. Now, did I need more than one or did I only... No, I needed two. So we are going to need some more tin uh, cables. Easy to make. Go back to our handy dandy uh, metal form over here and extrude out some tin. Easy as easy can, as can be. I'll just wait for one to go so I'll have enough to build that transformer. And I'm going to have to rearrange my, my setup down in the basement when I'm done with these. No big deal. It'll be fun. I'll have much more power storage and I decided I, I wanted to do that because I found so much lava that I can use to power my generator over there. So let's... Ooh, I need wood. Let's grab some wood. We have a bunch of different kinds. Let's pull up the recipe here and start building this thing. First things first is, I forgot about that, I'm going to need the coil here. And I... Okay, there we go. Coil in the middle, top and bottom, uh, throw in the planks. There we go, we got our transformer, easy as can be. One thing I did forget to grab is my wrench, I am going to be needing that. Definitely going to need the wrench. Let's check on our progress. Alright, we don't need a ton of that. Lead's going... Uh, I wish these macerators would run quicker, and I'm pretty sure you can actually build upgrades that'll make these things run... Like, like they'll run faster at the cost of more energy, I think, but I just don't know how to do that. But well, I do have some copper dust and some tin dust done, so might as well start working on this. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, like that, and like that. There we go. Start start getting this stuff uh, going. I was about to just start go down into my basement and start working on getting uh, the transformer and whatnot set up, but then I realized I do need these machines to be operating for a little while now to get the materials I need, and that is not... Um, Something I can do. I can't start messing around with the down there with the power power flow if I need to, uh, the machines running. And something that a friend of mine told me about is tanks, which is a more efficient way of storing liquid. And I don't know how these things work. And it seems like to me like there's a bunch of tanks. I gotta find the which one: ender storage tank, uh, detector tank, water tank sliding. It's a multi-block siding. Water tank siding. Uh, multi-block structure that's 3x3x3 three by three by three and is hollow. Iron tanks, so these are all multi-block structure stuff. Seared tank, keeps any fluids it has when harvested. Um, I think these portable... Okay, I'm thinking maybe this one or... Uh, I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe the portable tanks is the ones I want. Um, I think the portable tanks are the ones I'm looking. I'm I'm interested in right now. Let's see what do we need for these. It's just it looks like it's any kind of glass and a copper copper ingot in the middle. So let's grab some glass. I think I have some over here. We have copper on us already. So let's try this out. Is that gonna work? It does. So let's make a couple of these. And now we have portable tanks. Hold shift for details. So it holds eight buckets in one tank. So it's a more efficient way of of using. Uh, I can. I will. 
It's, it's, uh, it's more efficient inventory-wise and space-wise because each of these can fit eight buckets. So that's eight, 16, 24, 32. So I can fit a ton of lava in these. And um, let's see how they work. Try to figure this, this out. So I have the portable tank. Um, I'm assuming I can place them. Yes. Uh, you can break it down pretty easily. Okay, so... So that's, that's how that works. Um, now, which, was this Tinker's Construct? Thermal Expansion. I think Thermal Expansion comes with its own wrench. That's the one for Industrial Craft, and they're not compatible. You can't use Industrial Craft wrench for Thermal Expansion, or Tinker's Construct, or Railcraft, and vice versa. Uh, quartz wrench. Buildcraft wrench. Uh, forestry wrench. I have a feeling like this is the one. Uh, it was explained to me, and I don't remember all the details. I think this is the wrench I would need, so I'd need a stone gear, which is a wood gear surrounded by stone, and a wood gear is just sticks. Okay. Well, now that we got that going, let's take some of these and not... Put it on rolling mode and roll these things out. We, we just need a lot of bronze. Actually, I can put all these in there because that's the only thing I need to do with them is roll them out. And while, again, while that's going, uh, so that's almost done, that's almost done. What I'd still need to do, though, is pulverize some lead. So once, once this one's... Once, I'll just wait for this to finish, and once it is, I'm going to throw some lead in there. So I'll just grab that lead. And I need three, I believe, for... I need to make three batteries, and I'm going to make one of these storage units right now, so I need three. Let's take those out, throw in three lead, because that's what I'm going to be needing. And I'm pretty sure these tank I can stack these tanks. Ooh, what was that? Um, mode output, mode input. Mode output, mode input. Okay. So they different they have different types of modes. It looks like one some these tanks are going to be throwing stuff out and these think this tank is going to be absorbing things in. I'm pretty sure you can put liquids into them by just using a bucket on them, like a full bucket, which I can probably test out pretty easily. Let's grab a bucket. This will be easy to test. Let's grab some water. Uh, where's my water bucket? And we're going to try to put some water... I think I could just... Okay, that, that worked exactly as I thought it would. They do connect. So I put it in the top one, and it moved down to this one, then it moved down to this one. As you can see, it has a thousand mil buckets of water in it. Let's just break that up. I'm glad that I was uh, turned on to these things. Now, is it going to tell me... Okay, so if I break them by hand like that, it doesn't keep the liquids in them. So I definitely, definitely need the um, the appropriate wrench. And I have a feeling that the one I want is the Buildcraft wrench. So might as well start trying to get that thing working while my machines are going over there. So I need one wooden gear, which was like that. Now I need some stone. What I should do, I don't need to carry all these on me right now and I'm running out of room in my inventory. Get rid of that. Uh, what do I need? Stone. I needed four pieces of stone. So that's wood gear and then stone. Stone gear, and I believe. Alright, just three pieces of iron. So I have iron on me. So bam, bam, bam. Industrial craft wrench. And let's test this guy out. So let's put down our guy, and if I. Okay, that will um, change its out. That will, that'll change its mode. That's good to know. I wonder if that will also. Huh. I'm gonna have to test that again. But my machines are done. Oh no, my machines ran out of power. Yeah, damn. Hmm. Well, I need more power to keep this stuff going, so I'm going to cut out real quick and go grab some lava, and I'll be back in just a minute.
three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm back. I went out and grabbed a little bit of lava, throwing it right in there. And I really want to figure out how those um, portable tanks work. And I think I might spend next episode doing... I'm going to do a little research, try to figure out if I can uh, get these things working. Maybe... I wonder if the... I may have been wrong about the wrenches. Let's see. No, nope, right-clicking doesn't do anything. I feel like one of the wrenches is going to allow me to disassemble it and keep the liquid in it. That's got to be the way it works. Is it this one? Quartz wrench? I, don't, I wouldn't imagine it was the quartz wrench. Interesting. There's some weird stuff. I don't know what so, mu so much of this stuff. I have no idea what any of it is. Like, Mistcraft? Don't know what that is. I don't even know what mod that is. Uh, these are still going, still going, still going. Maybe I should have done some of this stuff off screen. It's taking longer to process all this stuff than I was expecting it to, really. <sighs> okay, make some more. Make some more uh, bronze dust over here. Definitely need bronze. Oh, I definitely need copper, too. I am super low on copper. I mean, I used a ton of it to make wires and stuff, because I know I need a lot of wires, but... Alright, now, let's take a look at the CESU again. CESU... Take a look at this recipe. Now, I need five bronze plates, so I need to save five for the actual, the actual item, and then I'm going to need 15 of these item casings. So, I, and I believe I'll get two from each process of the metal former. Let's let it go once and figure out how many I'm going to get from this. So if it is in fact two, that means I'm going to need to put seven more in. Oh, I just have enough to do this too. Just barely. Oh, good. Wow, I used a lot more lava than I expected. Am I going to even have enough? Maybe stop doing this right now. Save up my energy for for that. I don't want to have to make another trip this episode. Okay, this is pretty full. By pretty full, I mean half full. Hopefully, it'll be enough to finish this. I mean, it's not. It's only. It only has to go through four more processes. I should probably dump a lot of this stuff in my inventory too, because I'm going. I, a lot of this stuff isn't going to stack. I have a feeling. So let's throw that there. We don't need to carry the tin around with me. I'm trying to keep this in uh, slightly uh, organized. I have so much silver, and I have absolutely no use for it right now. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with silver. I have bronze dust. I have tin dust. I have copper dust. More tin dust. I need to keep the lead dust, which I think is uh, the same as pulverized lead. Yeah, lead dust. It's the exact same thing. All right, good. Alrighty, let's grab that and start making these things. Definitely want to make finish making this thing this episode, so let's work with the batteries first. So I need one, two, three. Oh, I need to have three there, three there, three there, three there, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Okay, and like I thought the batteries wouldn't stack, so let's go to this. And like that, and like that. Battery, 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 and a copper cable, and very good. Okay, now, at, for the end of this episode, I'm going to try to set up my my system here so that it works correctly. So let's break down these wires here. Uh, let's get rid of this bat box. Take out these wires as well, because I'm going to need a little more space to work with. All right, good. Now, I'm going to have to have the 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 power, the generator go straight into this guy, so I think it needs to go this way. Cuz if I remember correctly, it'll take in power from the uh, all these sides and export power on this side. So, then I'm going to need to put this guy right here. And uh, if I remember correctly, it needs to face this way. So let's grab our wires and start attaching things. Very good. Very good indeed. And the only way to test it is to see if it works. And unfortunately, 
Oh, I should have saved one bucket of lava. Should have saved one bucket of lava. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'm gonna call it an episode here. Next episode, I'll throw some lava in there. I'll get a bunch of lava and I'll throw it in there and see if that setup works correctly. If it doesn't, I'll just have to go down there and start whacking things with this wrench here, turning things around, making sure that they are facing the same direction. And we're going to try to figure out how these portable tanks work so I don't have to keep making trips to get more lava to get all this stuff up and running. And once it is up and running correctly, I'm going to have a ton of power storage, 300,000 as opposed to the 40,000 I had before. So if you've enjoyed this episode, drop me a like, leave me any comments, and if you're interested in more daily Benjamin Magnus plays Minecraft, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.